Welcome everyone to our fall open house. My name is Donna Young and I'm the president of Kepler College. And I'm joined today by members of our faculty, our director of education, Alex Trenowith, the chair of our board, Omari Martin, Carol Tebbs, who is uh, our instructor in our 102 course in the fundamentals, Inga Thornell and Karen McCauley, who are instructors in the 103 course of fundamentals, Vanessa Lundborg and myself are instructors in the 101 fundamentals. So if you are just starting your journey with us, you will see all of us somewhere along the way. Omari is also an instructor in our um, predictive certificate. So you'll see him farther on down the line and Alex as well, uh, as is the director of education. So you'll be dealing with her along the way as you go on your journey, but she also teaches sun sign writing with us and it has her fingers in many of the classes that we are working on. So you will see all of us again. Why would you choose Kepler College? Well, there's a number of things. We, we recognize that there are a number of schools out there, a number of choices for you to be able to make in terms of your astrology education. But here are a few of the things that we think are really special about Kepler College. The biggest one is that we have small class sizes and you have immediate interaction with all of your instructors. So most of our classes would be uh, under 30 students. Um, that would be the maximum size for a class. And when we get up to that size, even we have multiple instructors that so that you're really usually only dealing with a 10 to 15 to one ratio. Sorry for that. And because of that ratio, you're getting direct feedback during the class. Our classes are all live. They, they're recorded so that you can listen to them later, but they're happening in real time. So when you have questions, your instructors are there to be able to help you immediately. And of course, you're getting direct feedback on your assignments. So you do have assignments. That's one of the things that uh, you're not going to see in all of what we might call, I'm going to say schools. Um, it's not just a bunch of recorded videos. They're actual live classes. You're going to get direct feedback on all of the assignments that you do. And we're not going to let you go on really until you've mastered what it is that you have learned in that week. We have different instructors for just about every class that we have that's required for the diploma. So with this in mind, this is very intentional to give you a variety of perspectives um, that you're going to get throughout your education. So you're not just learning one school of thought. You're learning from all different uh, histories through throughout astrology and different perspectives, because of course, we all interpret these things differently. And we think that's one of the biggest strengths that we would have. And of course, we have uh, what we're calling our career development certificate. So this is one of the things that, that we also see as a strength for us is that not only are we teaching you technique as you go through the program, but in the end, you can learn the tools that you need to develop your own practice. So we're trying to help you to become a professional astrologer if, if that's your goal. Is there anything that you guys would add to what I've said, those on the panel? Well done. <laughs> All right. Kepler College does have affiliations with a few of our different astrological organizations, including the American Federation of Astrologers, the Organization for Professional Astrology, and the National Council for Geocosmic Research. You're probably more familiar with them uh, their acronyms, AFA, OPA, and NCGR. And so there are these benefits that you receive upon graduation, um, a, an advanced membership to AFA if you uh, complete the, the fundamental certificate and a professional membership once you receive your diploma. Our fundamental certificate is comprised of 30 weeks of study. And when we say 30 weeks of study, we're talking about 10 weeks per, per class, two hours a week. 
And each of these weeks on top of the class time, we anticipate that you might have eight to 10 hours of reading material and homework, or I should say including the class time. So eight to 10 hours per week, all told for each one of these classes. Uh, the advanced fundamentals certificate includes the practicum. So this is where you're really getting your feet wet, wet and learning different um, different techniques, not different techniques really, but different ways of approaching the chart from a multiple number of astrologers. And then practicing on your own where you're really doing a deeper dive into the chart in terms of your delineation and interpretation. We have recently redesigned our, we used to call it the movement certificate, it's prediction certificate. And so we now have these series of five week classes that comprise that certificate. And so you, you are required to take 30 weeks of study. All of these classes, the option here is that you can take rectification or a prediction practicum. So transits, progressions, solar returns, the moon in astrology and electional astrology combined with one or the other of these two courses. If you want to work towards your diploma, we are asking for 130 weeks of study. So you have to take the fundamental certificate that we just talked about, the prediction certificate that we just talked about. And then on top of that, you learn how to calculate a chart by hand, 10 weeks of astrological history, 10 weeks of astronomy for astrologers, 10 weeks of consulting or counseling, and then you can choose 20 weeks of electives. We have uh, ethics as a requirement. It's a free class that you would just go through and, and then do a quiz on. And then you have to do a demonstration of learning. The demonstration of learning could be that you are do, participating in our student showcase or you're writing an article that you might wanna submit for publication. You'd work directly with Alex in terms of, uh, finessing your project and deciding what that might be. Alex, do you want to talk about that a little bit? Well, what we are hoping to achieve is that we offer students, you know, a really good base for developing their research techniques. And if they would like to go on to further education, you know, they can, um, you know, put it in their profile, you know, what they've studied and that they've studied research techniques. Um, in case they want to go on to the MA program at Exeter St. David, or if they want to go on to a different course, at least they have some basics for the research um, uh, techniques. Yeah, excellent. We have a question in here. Is fundamentals one required before fundamentals two? It's not required. Anybody can sign up for any class at any time, but in the fundamental certificate, the classes do build on each other. So if you think that you uh, have enough background already that you could test out of that W101 class, you can do that for a $50 fee. You can write that exam. And if you pass, you can go straight into 102. It's not really recommended that you would take them out of order in that particular certificate because they do build on each other. We have free practice tests. We do. Yeah. Yeah, we sure do. Um, Ray is asking, is 101 the only class you can test out of? It, it is at the moment. We've completely redesigned our fundamentals uh, certificate and we will be doing test out exams for all of the fundamentals classes other than the practicum, of course, because that necessitates you being there. But we, you will be able to do that. I would think probably um, 102 by the end of the year and and 103 be early early next year and you can also test out of uh, chart calculation if that's something that you've already learned good questions <laughs> we also have an advanced diploma and with this one we ask for the fundamentals, the, the regular, the KPDA diploma, and then an additional 60 weeks of study, including horary, mundane, essential dignities, and then five weeks of career development, 
you would take the five weeks of rectification or the natal practicum, whatever you didn't do in the previous uh, diploma, five weeks of research, and then we would ask you to do 30 weeks of concentrated study from one of our certificates. And we have a number of certificates. Then again, another final demonstration of learning that you would work with Alex on again, that we would think would be not the same thing that you did before, of course, but something a little more advanced. And here are the numbers of certificates that we have available. So you can earn these independently. Fundamentals, prediction, we have one on astro mapping that's got uh, astrocartography, um, local space, astrology. We have a certificate on counseling and relationships, career development, medical astrology, astrological heritage, heritage and alternative traditions. And a couple of more in the works coming. So you can look for that. But in the meantime, anyone can work towards these certificates without working towards the diploma program. So if there's anything that scares you <laughs> in that diploma, uh, you don't have to take all of those history and chart calculation classes in order to earn these certificates. And our fall term is beginning September 11th. So that's the first day of the term, not necessarily the first day of the class. Uh, our early bird discount is on now until next Friday. So you still have some time if you wanted to sign up for any of those classes and, uh, and receive the early bird discount. These are our 10 week classes will, the early bird discount will end on Friday. The five week classes are usually two weeks before the course starts. So you, you still have some time for some of those five week classes. And of course, here's our fall lineup, the instructors that we will have for our fundamental certificate. But we also have a number of other required and optional courses that are available. Um, and some of them are required. And as you can see, some of them are electives that you might be interested in. Um, Alex is doing the sun sign columnist class that we would ask that you have some fundamental knowledge of astrology. So you can see here that these are labeled intermediate courses. We would expect that you would have some fundamental astrological knowledge. It doesn't have to be from Kepler College. So you can take these if you have a fairly solid background in astrology already and further lists. So most of the classes that we have outside of our fundamentals, we would consider to be intermediate. And of course, uh, professional development classes, Lori Barnes is doing, a, this is the first time we've been offering this marketing for astrologers, um, progressions and solar arcs. This is the first time we've been, we're offering this class as well um, as part of our predictive certificate. And Omari, his electional class as part of our prediction certificate, this is a new class as well. So if you have been with us for a while, you can look for these classes uh, to round out your education. And as Carol had mentioned, we do have the opportunity for you to take a quiz. So we have this, you can just go to our website um, and click on the, uh, the uh, free quiz that you can take. There's a free introductory course that you could also take if you wanted to just test where you're at with that before you do the quiz. And then um, the quiz will tell you where you should come in at. So if, if you get to a certain level, then we would make recommendations. It's not certainly not a mandate, but we might recommend that you, that you take the fundamentals class or test out of the fundamentals class and go into the next level 102. So there's different recommendations through there as you go, depending on your mark. And if you're not sure, you can just reach out to us. So if you got a fairly high mark and you're not sure where you fit, just send us an email and we will help you decide where it is that you should, uh, that you should go. The, um, the Amy, the mundane astrology class will not be available this term. I would expect that we might have that available for the spring term. And there is uh, the bridge workshop. Um, we don't specifically call somebody's just asked, is the bridge workshop still available? That's a class that we offer for if you, 
if you have some fundamentals, but it, it, but you just need a little bit more to get you into the next level. So it's kind of like a halfway. You don't need to learn the very, very basic fundamentals, but you're not quite ready for 102 in the fundamentals. And we do offer that. We just had it in the summer. It, it's offered twice a year. So it'll be offered again during the winter term, but not offered this fall. I think that class has a new name now. It does. What's so it, it? What's it called, Vanessa? I can't remember. Um, I want to say it's called delineation and synthesis or something like that. Yeah, yeah, something like that. The bridge. So if you're, look, if you're looking for the bridge course, uh, you won't find those words, but you will <laughs> find that material. Exactly. So this answers the previous question. The challenge tests that we have right now, but we are building on this list. And uh, we do have a Toastmasters group that is specifically for astrologers. So if that's something that you're interested in developing your presentation skills and your speaking skills, this is open to all. You don't have to be a student at Kepler to participate in this. Anybody is welcome. And one of the things that we have done with this for uh, as an elective and as a credit in your professional or your career development certificate is that if you complete a, um, a section in Toastmasters, that will give you some credit as well. So, but that's, that's fairly rigorous. If any of you are in Toastmasters, you know what it takes to achieve an entire um, I've, I've lost the word for it right this minute, but a, an entire um, section. What's it called? Anybody here? Not just a level, but a whole. Anyway, I'll think of the word. But <laughs> but it's a number. Is, is it module? Is it module, Donna? It's not module. No, okay. it's something else. But thank you. <laughs> Maybe there's a Toastmaster in the crowd. A pathway. That's it, Lori. Thank you. It's a pathway. If you complete an entire pathway, which is a number of speeches, uh, you would be able to receive credit for that. We have free monthly webinars. And one of the ones that we have coming up that I hope you'll all attend, the next one is uh, our student showcase. And so this is what I was talking about earlier, where when you work towards uh, your diploma, then you have to do a demonstration of knowledge. So we have two of our students who've chosen to do a presentation in a webinar that we call the Student Showcase. So we hope that you'll come out and support them as they do their talk. And that is happening on September 23rd. And then we have a number of other free webinars always going on and look for these. Uh, astrology and somatic neuropsychology, financial market trends, and eclipses coming up in the next month. The monthly webinars are always free, and they are also uploaded to our YouTube channel when they're done. So if you miss them, you know, please go to YouTube and follow us there. We're going to be having a blue moon sale at the end of the month. And that's going to be, of course, you guys probably all know there's going to be a blue moon coming up and we will be offering 25% off of our recorded workshops during that time period. So check those out. I think there's like over 70 of them there from our, from our archives that you are welcome to sign up for and have access to. Follow us on social media. I mentioned our YouTube channel, uh, which is just a wealth of information. Some of the things that are on there are from our Wayback Machine. So you can uh, have the privilege of listening to some of our, our greats that have been with us for a long time. There, it's not just the uh, webinars that are uploaded there. There's some fabulous interviews, interviews with leading astrologers and up and coming astrologers. Um, as well as different things like our student showcase. So have a look for that. And I think that is it. it. Do you guys have anything that you want to add? And certainly I completely open the floor to any questions. If there's anybody here who feels that they have um, anything they want to, to drill us on. 
Omar. Any questions from the audience? Did you want to talk about scholarships? Did you want to talk about anything like that? Okay, so somebody is asking, can you explain how the fundamental certificate has changed? I can. Um, <laughs> I can, in fact, do that. Actually, Vanessa, all the you... pieces are there, Donna. Pardon? All the pieces are there. It's just they've been switched a bit. They've been moved around. Vanessa, do you have that? I mean, it's a working sheet, but we could show the working sheet that shows the topics. That might I... be. For people. Give me a minute and I'll dig it up. Um, yeah, if you wouldn't mind yeah. digging it up, we'll have a look for that. Uh, are all the books for classes available at Kepler? Kepler no longer has actually a library. So we don't sell books. Um, you can you can link to our, our book list to see uh, which books we recommend, but you do have to purchase your books externally. Um, except for the uh, rectification class uh, for this year, the uh, digital format is in the Kepler store, but in 2024, it will be out in paperback through AFA. So just mm -hmm. that one exception. Yeah. Um, will actual certificates be issued for the separate certificate programs? Yes, indeed. For the certificate program programs, you will be emailed a certificate. If when you receive your diploma, you'll get a, a hard copy paper diploma mailed to you. Is there a translation from courses of the past to the new diploma courses for those of us who have been studying for a while and what our credits count against? So we would work with you uh, really individually to help you sort through that if you've been working for a while. Really, you still get to use if you're work if you've been on the pathway, and you've taken all these courses. We're not going to ask you to do all of the the courses that we've added in. You can continue on the pathway that you're on. So we're not going to ask more out of you. You're welcome to switch over to the new pathway if it f fits with what you want. But we're not going to be asking you to take any additional courses. Um, if that answers your question, but we, we certainly are happy to work with you to help you figure out what's the best pathway for you. I've got that sheet. If you want me to share my screen, Donna, who would they contact to work with that? Um, they, they could reach out to me. Okay. Yeah. Donna at Kepler college.org. Oh, here's a great question. When will we be able to access Kaylee? So the Kaylee Library, yes. If you're a registered student starting this fall, anybody who's registered in this term will have access to the Kaylee Library. That's one of the other big benefits of being a Kepler College student. Do you want to talk about this, Vanessa? Or uh, does Alex want to talk about it? Um, I mean, I, I feel like I've talked a lot about it, so I can do it again. <laughs> <laughs> um, just, a, just a little background um, on what we were trying to do on this. I mean, it's, it's pretty much um, part of the, an educational experience that uh, we occasionally go through the curriculum and make changes just so that things are a little bit smoother um, as you move from the 101s up to the 104s. And the way I described it, um, you know, what we we're trying to do um, to the admin team was that the 101 courses are kind of like Mercury, where you're just kind of learning bits and pieces and maybe um, learning new vocabulary and definitions and things like that. And then we go into 102, which is more like extending those key phrases and um, expanding our practice. And 103 is more like the Saturn sort of stage of things where we're honing techniques and making sure that we are getting lots of practice in. And 104 is really when you kind of have enough basic knowledge that you can kind of go off and, and, you know, explore your own theories, explore, you know, your own ways of doing things. So, you know, it didn't take as long as I think we, we, we that we thought it was going to take. We thought this was going to take ages and we're going to be at it all summer. But actually, once we started look, work, working with it, it went pretty quick. And um, we're really grateful that we had the support from our senior tutors as well. And um, yeah, so I think we're pretty pleased with it. Now, with any sort of change in the curriculum, there is going to be 
um, a time of getting used to things and people don't like change. But I think this is going to be, once we get over the initial bump of getting restarted, it's going to be a lot smoother in the future. And as Donna said, you know, you can contact her about um, about what courses are right for you. We have lots of things in place. You can contact me if you have questions as well um, on here. Um, I am on British time though, um, which means um, you will have to contact me in your morning if you're in the States um, for me to get back to you by the evening for, for me. Um, so um, yeah, did you want me to go through the specifics, Donna? Um, yeah, um, I don't think so. We we don't need to break down the the week by week. But what I will say is that there has been a lot of switch between 102 and 103. So if you, um, 103 will be offered the, in its old form for the last time this term. So that's an important thing to remember. If you have already taken 102, then you do want to take 103 this fall for sure. Uh, if that's impossible for you, you can see that there's a lot of material that was in 102 that's now in 103. We've made a lot of shifts that way. And so we do have a plan for people who are in that situation. And if that is you, uh, please, please let us know and we will help you sort through how we intend to navigate that situation. But, but yeah, these are, these are the, the topics that we will be covering um, and this will be all finalized by the winter term. Right now, 102 will look like this for the fall term, uh, but the old 103 is running. All of the costs. So you can find that on the website if you if you go to the store and want to sign up for any of the classes, you can see the the prices. Um, but in general, the regular price, not the early bird price, but the regular price for a five week class is $295 and a 10 week class is $590. And then you have to buy your books. We, we make sure that the books are never more than $70 per term. And if you're a brand new student, you do have to pay a one time $40 registration fee. And that is it. There's no other costs associated with anything that we're doing. Donna, are there extra things in the uh, resources in the student lounge for students? Oh, there's a ton of resources in the student lounge. Once you're a student, you are able to access all kinds of um, different training videos and software discounts and those types of things. Uh, so yeah, once you sign up, you uh, do have availability to our student lounge. And as part of our Keeley Library, you have access to the Mountain Astrologer and the Evolving Astrologer magazines um, for the term that you're that you're a student. It's not ongoing, but as long as you're enrolled with us, you will have access to those materials. Are there any other questions? If there's anybody, um, if there's anybody in the group from our participant list who is partway through their certificate and has any questions, we're happy to, to go into breakout rooms and help you to sort those things out. Um, so just raise your hand if that's you, <laughs> if you'd like to have further conversation. But otherwise, I'm not seeing, oh, maybe there's one more question here. Um, does this apply to students not taking courses for certificate? I'm not sure the question. Are you asking about the the access to the Cayley Library, et cetera? Is that what, if that's what you're referring to? Any student, you don't have to be, you don't have to be registered for a certificate or a diploma. So if you take a course with us this fall, you'll be entered into that library for the whole year. So, yeah. You don't have to be working. Um, there is, in fact, we do have the ability to put you on a payment plan if that is an issue. That's one of the questions that come up has come up. So I think when you go to sign up, <clears throat> when you're in the store, 
when you click on the payment, it will give you those options. And it, that depends on whether it's a five or a 10 week course. I will say one of the things that I didn't mention is that if you, I, I certainly would encourage you to take the free quiz to find out what level that you're at. But if you get into 101, say if you're thinking about taking the fundamentals class this fall and you get in, um, and you hear us talk and ramble on for the first week, and then you decide, mm, I don't think that this is going to be a good fit for me either. Maybe you, you think that you're too advanced for the class, or maybe you think that it's too much for you and you need to back out a little. Because I will say that the fundamentals does expect you to have at least a memorization of your glyphs and some re like really basic um, idea about what the planets mean. And if you think you need to back out of that, you have until the second week to do that. So we want to make sure you're in the right place. And if that's what's going on for you, just let us know. And we will help you to find your, to find your way. Uh, the free introductory, oh, I was just going to say the free introductory course focuses on getting the glyphs under your belt, getting, you know, the basic vocabulary, the basic concepts under your belt. And so if you go through that free course, you should be well prepared to enter 101. Um, that said, 101 isn't an easy course. Yeah, um, exactly. It, you do it's have pretty robust. <laughs> it is robust. Yeah, for sure. It moves along. Somebody is asking if you take classes ad hoc, can you then apply them to the certificate diploma later? And the answer is yes, as long as you do your homework. So it, you do have the option to audit a class and we didn't talk about that here, but you can audit a class. If you decide that you wanna do the learning but you don't wanna do the homework, you can audit uh, a class for a discounted rate. But if you don't do the homework, you'll never be able to apply that towards a certificate or a diploma. So if that's something that's on your mind, you're better off, you know, taking the live class and uh, doing all of the homework so that if you decide that you want to have the certificate, then, then you've done everything that you need to do. The auditing classes are not, you're not attending a live class when you're auditing. You're um, having access to a recorded class that has already happened, but you still have access to all of the lectures and you can take the quizzes, but nobody's going to mark homework if you do it. <laughs> Omar, did you want to say anything? Uh, yeah, so uh, hello everyone. Once again, I'm Omari Martin the board chair of Kepler College. And I wanna welcome each of you and wanna thank you for uh, hanging out here at Kep with us uh, at Kepler College today. Uh, Donna has presented like our newest, best, fresh cake. <laughs> and it's all nice and chocolatey. Chocolate is my favorite flavor. <laughs> and we think you will find um, our new classes very exciting. As Donna presented, uh, this fall, I will be teaching electional astrology, and we'll certainly cover some history, but we certainly made it a point to design the course to really get into some of the fun stuff and the nitty gritty. You know, when can you buy a house or sell a house, buy a car, sell a car, get married, and unfortunately, uh, get divorced. Also, sometimes we want to take a trip. When is it a good time to take the trip? And other things may come up where, you know, sometimes we have an opportunity to take uh, a certification exam with any uh, professional body. And if you have an option to take that exam in the spring or the fall or the summer, you can use electional astrology to identify a good time for you to take that particular exam so that you're not working against the headwinds and you get that nice tailwind from the universe so that you're successful and you pass that certification exam. And there are other courses that we're offering. This is new, this is fresh, and please know that over the years, Kepler College will maintain this energy and the spirit of continuous improvement um, as it relates to the feedback that we get from students and also as astrology as a profession uh, will evolve over time. I will also add, uh, Vanessa was asking about this or mentioned it a few moments ago. Uh, we do offer scholarships. We have <laughs> our Mac, oh, 
I'm sorry. Oh, we have our Maggie Nalbandian uh, scholarship, which is open to everyone. Uh, Maggie Nalbandian is our founder. May she continue to rest in the heavens. And Maggie Nalbandian is the one who had the initial vision for Kepler College and brought together an entire group of astrologers to work on and develop and bring to fruition the institution of learning we know today as Kepler College. And of course, Kepler College has evolved over time. We're going strong and we're gonna make it well into the 25th century. I won't be here for that, but Kepler College will. <laughs> <laughs> in addition, to, so in addition to our Maggie Nalbandian scholarship, we also offer a diversity scholarship. The diversity scholarship is available to anyone who is a member of a historically underrepresented group. And so, we and for those of you who are interested and in, in applying for either one of our scholarships. Uh, we invite you to do so. And I also want to add, for all we know, there may be one of you or some of you who would be interested in donating to our scholarship funds. So we want to leave that open uh, as well. The scholarship funds are funded uh, based on uh, generous donations from um, faculty members, administrators, and other esteemed colleagues within the astrological community. So we want to open that up to you as well. So um, we look forward to uh, you joining us uh, as a student so that you gain access to and have an opportunity to experience 5,000 years of astrological knowledge. So thank you, Donna. Thank you, Omari. Yes, I did neglect to talk about the scholarships. We have assigned the scholarships for this term, however. So if you uh, are wanting to get a scholarship for the next term, um, please fill out the form, but know that it won't be for this term. And it's term by term, isn't it, Donna? Not for the year. That's right, term by term. Uh, somebody is asking, can you pay early bird prices and be reimbursed if you get scholarship funds? No, it's not a money-making proposition. <laughs> and really, we, you know, we have very limited funds. And as, as things get harder, I'm sure most of you have experienced uh, financial difficulties. You know, in these past few years, it's been hard for a lot, a lot of people. And so our scholarship fund gets stretched very, very thin. And I just want to set that up for you because so that you're not too disappointed. We get so many applications and we have to, it's a difficult job to really pick, you know, who is it that we're going to give these scholarships for. So applying for a scholarship doesn't mean getting a scholarship, but it certainly means that you are in in the line of sight that we will consider your application and many times it's it's not it it's not a full scholarship but we might be able to give you you know a few hundred dollars towards it um somebody is asking about the quizzes if you do think you have found an error in the quiz please let me know donna at keplercollege.org all right are there any other questions If not, I'm going to thank you for your time and close out this session.